Hello again, it's Brian from Excel Dashboard Widgets. Um, I'm just going to take you very quickly through uh, through a request that we've had on the forum, um, just to change the the icon on this um, female percentage widget. Um, if I go quickly to the forum, yes, yeah, Sarah Mayfield is saying um, she wants to change the, the 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 icon to something a little bit more gender neutral. So instead of a man or a woman. Um, she's talking about people or children. Um, how do I go about doing that? Thanks. Um, okay. Well, this is this is how you do it. This is this is the widget we're talking about. Um, so, as you can see, if I change the the uh, the percent value, if I say um, there's uh, more women than men, uh, sixty-five percent um, women. And it's gone up from 55%. Well, let's call that uh, maybe it was 45%. It's gone up 20%, um, and uh, it's green. Uh, maybe it went down from the previous um, reporting period. Um, so maybe it was 69%, uh, and it's gone down to 65%. So it's gone down 4%, um, and uh, so the background is orange. Um, and of course, you can change the colors to any colors you want. And um, okay, so uh, how do we change the the icon, which is exactly what Sarah wants to do? Um, well, let's just start a um, a new uh, a new spreadsheet, a new dashboard. So we go file, new uh, blank workbook, create. Um, and let's go back and just copy copy this widget. So this widget, you know, you can you can move around as a group of Excel objects. So we go Control C across. And I'm going to stick it into cell B2. Um, let's make that a little bit smaller. Now I think I explained it a little bit in the uh, in the in the forum, Sarah, but um, these. These widgets are, are basically groups of very common um, Excel objects. Um, this coloured square, for example, that changes colours is a um, is a bar chart. If I just click it twice, there, go to Chart Tools Design. As you can see, it's a um, it's a it, it's a bar chart. Um, uh, if I just click the right hand side to do group ungroup. You can see the different um, shapes that make up this object. We have a, a text box for the title, um, a text box for the for the main values, a chart, a shape background, um, and this person shape here is just um, just a picture. Um, a better way to see all of these shapes is to go on the ribbon. If you go home. And you go across right to the end to find and select right down to the bottom to selection pane. Um, you can see uh, the one, two, three, four, five, six objects um, that are that are included in this widget. Um, you can actually see all of the shapes that are on this worksheet. So, for example, um, if I just click light background rectangle, which is this one, or I click female icon which is this one I can even turn them on and off look there we go it's disappeared there she is back again I can even change the stacking order um, so items that are in the top of this list um, are forward um, in the stacking order of the widget um, so for example if I want to take the light background this square background here and I want to move it up. It's currently behind everything. If I want to move it above everything, I can go to the bottom where it says reorder and just move it up. Move it up one, move it up one. Um, it's now behind the female icon. Move it up one. It's now in front of the female icon. Move it up one. It's now on top of everything. Um, so this is a little bit how um, you know, sometimes you can move around the the and select the different objects um, that make up the widget. So let's just quickly move that back um, to where we were. 
So what we want to do is we want to change this this icon. Uh, I'm just going to get this one out of the way. I'm going to insert a new icon. So I'm going to go insert picture. I you wanted something that was a little bit more gender neutral, so I um, I prepared this person um, icon a little earlier. I don't know if it's any good for you. Um, anyway, let's just stick that over here. Um, there we go. We're going to delete this one. Delete. It's gone. Um, and I like to, uh, um, yeah, I like to group all these together so the widget is just one object. Um, so you can do that in a couple of ways. Um, let me just change. This is picture eight now. I'm going to call this. Just rename this um, um, persons icon. Um, so let me just select all of these different objects. I'm holding down control and selecting them. Then I'm going to come across to any of the objects on the page, right click, go down to group and group them as a single object. You can now say that you now see on the right this says group nine, but I'm just going to change this to um, percentage widget. There we go. Um, okay. So, um, so that's how you change the uh, the the icons in these widgets, and this is now one single widget that we can move around and play around with. Um, okay, um, I want to show you quickly how to to set up this widget as well in a new workbook. Um, I think we, um, I think I've, I've demonstrated this in another video, but I'll just do it for you quickly because it doesn't take too long. Um, as you can see, if I click on any of these text boxes, um, any of these text boxes says uh, this example, for example, the 65%, it's still linked um, to sell E306 on the Widget Showcase Calcs tab of the unlocked version of the the current version of the, the Excel, Excel Dashboard Widget Spreadsheet, which is this one over here. 65% so it's a completely different workbook if I change this to um, the, the the female percentage is 70% uh, of the workforce for example it will update it across in our new workbook maybe we want, we want that maybe we don't um, so let's let's copy across our configuration data and link it link it to our new values that we're putting in here. So maybe it's 50% and before it was 49%. Um, I'm going to make that slightly smaller. So we get that to, there we go. Okay. Um, right, so the first thing to do is to link this, click on this text box here. Instead of saying, instead of linking to the old file, just Put equals and link to our new value, fifty percent. There we go. That was easy. Um, this second value here. Um, let's just link the title. Um, so let's call the title. Uh, um, workforce positions filled. For example. Um, I'm going to link this top box to say workshop workforce position filled. I can actually move this down slightly if I want. I'll make it bigger. Um, so let's say it's 98% of the workforce positions are filled. And before it was 95%. Now this plus 1% figure, if I just click on it, is still linked to the old workbook. Um, so let's um, rename the tabs. This is my dashboard. Oh, I must spell that badly. Um, this is my calculations. Tab. Let's just copy across the calculations 
that drive this particular widget. I'm just going to copy them across into here. Um, and if you look, step one is link the yellow cells to the configuration cells. So the value still is still linked to the other workbook. We put equals and link it to our new value. The previous value is 95%. And then it does all the calculations for us. So as you can see, um, the change has gone up 3% from 95% to 98%. Um, and these bar chart values are used to drive the color. Um, if it's green, if it's gone up, orange if it's gone down, what the, sits behind this percent change indicator. Um, so now I can change, if we go over here, it says step two, link these, link the, link the text boxes in the widget to these blue cells. Um, so this is one of the text boxes. This can now be linked to this value. So it's gone up 3%. Um, maybe it was 97%. So it's gone up 1%. But we also need to link this chart. So I'm clicking the chart behind. I'm going over here to Chart Tools, Design, Select Data. If you look, the data driving this chart is still linked to the old um, the old uh, spreadsheet. If I click on the first series and do edit, it's selecting these these top two values up, and the second one is um, not applicable. Um, again, if I select the bottom series, edit, it's selecting this cell down, and the second value is this cell one. So what I need to do is I need to link all of these to uh, our new workbook. So let me do that right now. I need to basically copy the same sort of setup. So do that for the first one. Up, edit it, the first value, come across to book three. My calculations tab, that needs to go to up. The second value, back to book three. My calculations tab. Not applicable. Okay, down. Just edit that. The first value is to come in book three. Put that value down. And the next value, back to book three. My calculation curve needs to go to one. Okay. Okay. Now, now. Everything in this widget, these two, these three text boxes that do the title, the main value, the percent change, um, and the the bar chart that change colors, and now everything is linked into this this workbook. So if I say, for example, the previous value was ninety nine percent, you can see that uh, the number of workforce filled positions has fallen by one percent. Um, if you see that goes up to a hundred percent, then we have to go. Then we've gone up one percent. Um, Sarah, I hope this has helped. Um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to um, to 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 post them in the forum, and we will get back to you. Um, thank you. That's all for now. Bye bye.